We will now hear from Professor K. Rajan. Mr. Rajan is the head of the Department of History at Pondicherry University. He played the leadership role in the significant excavations at Kodumanal, Purundal, and Kiladi. This bilingual scholar has been key in an interdisciplinary understanding of the region's past. For instance, at Purundal, his team excavated the following. Two ring stands with similar Tamil Brahmi scripts, a pair of stirrups, 7,500 beads made of statite, carnelian, quads, and agate, 14 four-legged jars ranging in size from the miniature variety to one with a height of one meter, about two kilograms of paddy in one such jar, urns with beautiful designs on their shoulders, bowls, plates, vases, iron swords, knives, and so on. May I invite Professor Rajan? Dignitaries on the dais and of the dais. I am so delighted to be here on this occasion of wonderful magnum opus that is being released today, a journey of a civilization. Not multiple civilization, and a civilization particularly has given the term Indus to Vaihe. I am fully aware that writing a book, collection of the data, from different sources and synthesizing it in a, as a monograph and bringing to the public is a tough job as a professor of archaeology, I am aware. One more thing of important of archaeology is that I would like to put it in a light vein. Whenever these IAS officers entered into this archaeology field, it is very difficult to leave. It is a, like a intoxicated, or we can say it's an opium. P.L. Sami and Chakravati, Balakrishnan, Airao the Mahadevan, now he is in another gentleman is in the trap, he is Mr. Uday Chintra. <laughs> as an archaeologist, as a downfall of Indus Valley civilization around 15 million BC, 1500 BC, we are puzzled. What happened to that civilization after that? None of the civilization, none of the culture will die. Only it will transform. In what level it has been transformed, or where that residue of these cultural items are available, we are searching for a long time. And for Mr. Balakrishna also, it is a long journey. And he tried to fix that gap that happened in 1500 BC down to 6th century BC. This gap, we could not be able to fill it up in the archaeology, particularly in Indian archaeology. I used to uh, make a, my tribute to my teachers on this occasion, Professor K. V. Raman from Madras University, who taught me the first the field of archaeology. Then after that, Dr. B. B. Lal, Dr. B. K. Thapar, Dr. Jagatpati Joshi, Dr. S. R. Rao, finally, Dr. Prof. Subrail, all the people who have involved in shaping me as a, uh, as a, as a small, a senior, I, I used to call it as a senior most uh, student of the department, because as long as you are a student, then you will be considered as a professor. The moment you say the professor, then you are no more a professor at all. You have, like a, from Mr. Balakrishnan, still reading. He is another senior most student of the field of archaeology. In that ar field of archaeology, we use called as e-service. I used to call to tell to my student, it's an e-service. In our sense, e-service means exploring the past. What for you are exploring? You have to explain the entire thing to the public. So explaining the past? No. You have to engage the past. But engaging itself will not take you to any place, but you have to experience the past. You yourself have to experience by in the field or in the off the field. And you have to experiment that past. Then you have to enhance the past and then only enlighten the past. So the final goal is to enlighten the public. And I hope this book 
this wonderful book will definitely enlighten the dark period of our Indian history. For that purpose, I would like to congratulate wholeheartedly for Dr. Balakrishnan for bringing this book to the fore. Thank you very much. Tamil Nirat Nigar Chigalai Kana Maravamal subscribe sayangal.